benched by the Oakland Raiders. Or I guess they're the L.A. Raiders now, but they will be the Oakland in my heart. That's where Derek Carr started with the Raiders back nine years ago. He was a second-round draft pick, 36 overall, to one of the most dysfunctional franchises in history, and somehow he is always the problem in their minds. Despite being the only consistent factor of their franchise during his time, he has had four different head coaches, two different intern head coaches within his nine years in L.A., Oakland, whichever one you want to call it. It is not on top of their awful drafting. I mean, I think for the last three, four years since Gruden joined the team, none of their draft picks are even still on their team or won't be at the end of the year because Josh Jacobs, they denied his fifth year option, which was a bone dead move there. I think they're just trying to cut as much money as possible because their owner just doesn't have the money because let's be real here. The Raiders are a poverty franchise in the NFL. They can't even fire Josh McDaniels because they don't have the money to fire him. And that's why I think they're doing this to Derek Carr here. Because if they don't play Derek Carr for these last two weeks and he doesn't get injured when the cut comes off, they could save themselves $40 million. And that sounds like a franchise or a Raiders thing to do. Because guess what? They're broke. They can't afford to fire Josh McDaniels to get a new head coach. So what are you going to do? Cut your franchise quarterback and be completely trash for the next five years. It doesn't matter if you have a bad head coach, if you're just garbage. And what makes me wonder is what's going to happen with Devontae Adams, just due to the fact that he only came there to play with Carr, and now they're ready to cut the ties with Carr. I don't imagine Devontae's going to want to stay there. So this team is about to go from eh, fringe playoff team to bottom of the league. Once Carr's gone, because let's be real here. What what do the Raiders think that they're going to get at quarterback next year? They're not going to get Lamar because they don't want to pay Carr. They're not going to pay Lamar if the Ravens even let him go. Are you going to get Jimmy G, Mac Jones? I, mean, I heard somebody say Tom Brady. That's not happening. Tom Brady is not going to Oakland. Just it, it isn't happening. If Tom Brady leaves Tampa Bay, he's not going to Oakland. That's for sure. But but who else do you think you're going to get? You're going to get Baker? You don't think Carr's not better than Jimmy G and Baker? Like, come on now. What are you going to do, Sam Darnold? Are you going to follow the Panthers? I mean, come on. I, I don't know what their plan is here because there's just no real options to replace Carr. The only thing I can think of is because of his contract, they needed to cut that salary down, and this is the move that they decided to do. If you guys are enjoying, please... Subscribe. I'm trying to get to 50, uh, 50 subscribers by the end of the year. I only got one day left, so I'm uh, about 20 short. Let's, let's 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 get me there. Let's subscribe. Back to the video. I, I mean, you know, in my opinion, this works out in Carr's favor because he can go to a real franchise here. You know, I I could see him going to Baltimore if we don't get Lamar. I would actually personally like getting him in Baltimore just because I think he's a better quarterback than Lamar is. Lamar is more dynamic. But Carr is the better passer. And right now, I don't know if the Ravens need the dynamicness. They just need somebody to score touchdowns. Uh, I mean, so, you know, I think that's a huge possibility. I, I think, you know, the Panthers, because, you know, the Panthers are always trying to get a new quarterback. If the Buccaneers lose Tom Brady, that will be a fantastic place for Carr to go. He's got unlimited weapons, a great defense, a championship-level roster that's being held down by coaching this year. I think that would be a fantastic place for Carr to go. Now, will he? I don't know, but I would love to see him on the Bucks. The Jets are probably the front runner, though. If he is a free agent, I would imagine the Jets or Washington would be the ones going after him because both those teams are in the playoff hunt right now, too, and they're going to definitely need a quarterback. And I could see either of them going and getting Carr because I think at this point, there is no way you don't make the argument that Carr is not going to be a Raider next year. And he has became the scapegoat for the Raiders year in, year out for the last several years that it's finally hitting its end. And if I was Carr, I would be furious and I would never want to do anything with the Raiders ever again. Even if they didn't call me, I would not play for them ever again because this was such a disrespectful move. They still have an outside look at a playoff berth. They're not technically eliminated from the playoffs, even though it's a stretch, but they have not been eliminated yet. But they're cutting car at the end of the year, so they don't care what they do.
Your Stimum is not going to win you these next two games. He's not going to look better than Carr. And I know some people are saying, oh, well, Carr's stats are awful this year. I looked, and I didn't really pay attention to the fumbles because I heard he's got a lot of fumbles. So this could be the difference maker. But his stats between last year when they were a playoff team to this year is one touchdown, and he still has two games left. He threw for 24 touchdowns, 14 interceptions. He's got 23 touchdowns, 14 interceptions this year. So that's not a legitimate argument. He has not been the problem. The problem has been coaching because they hired Josh McDaniels because this franchise is awful at hiring coaches. I mean, it's been proven year in and year out. Four coaches in nine years is quite a bit. I mean, Cleveland's like the only team that's going to beat you in that category. But yeah, I... (laughs) You know, I think, honestly, this is the best for Carr. It'll get him into a better situation, probably better coaching. There will be teams that want him. He's going to be probably outside of maybe Lamar, the highest sought-after free agent quarterback. And I think Devontae is not going to be playing in uh, L- uh, Vegas any longer. I-, I just, you know, they're going to lose Josh Jacobs. This team is going to be trash. This was a dumb decision, and it's all because of Mula, baby. But if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next